Looking for an accent wall that packs storage, style, and sophistication? Well, I've got just the project for you. We're gonna completely transform this blank wall into the focal point of this living room with a few different projects that will take us about a day to complete. I wanna cover the entire wall in V-groove planks to add some texture and subtle sophistication. First step is to mark out your studs. They're always 16 inches apart, but this will help you later when you need to do your measuring. We'll start from the bottom up and snap a level line to keep the plank straight. The nice thing about these planks is that they're tongue and groove, so they snap together seamlessly. Now to get them on the wall. We're nailing the boards in at our pre-marked stud locations so we know they'll be attached securely. You wanna alternate your sides, so install a board from the left side of the wall and then the right side of the wall. This will ensure that you have staggered seams and not one long seam running up across the whole wall. So we're gonna move on to phase two of this project. Now we're gonna add some functionality. My storage solution is to build low profile cubbies the length of the wall. To do this, we're taking one inch cuts of plywood and nailing them together to create a rectangle, then dividing that rectangle into smaller sections. These cubbies will have plenty of storage at 10 inches high and two feet deep. To create some hidden storage, I'm adding six doors made with the same plywood and attaching them with simple hinges. The last step for our planked wall is to add a coat of white paint, which will give the planking and storage cubbies one cohesive built-in look. Now we're under the centerpiece of our wall. So this is a mantle build, and we're gonna build a 16-foot mantle. In order to make it a little bit easier to work with, we're gonna build two eight-foot sections. Got it. Okay, now, these are two by sixes. A full length is gonna go on the wall, okay? And then the mantle that we build will slide right onto it and attach on. We've already got all of our lumber cut. We miter the edges so we get a nice, clean, sharp edge where the lumber joins together. So we have a 45-degree angle here and a 45 here. Painter's tape can be our best friend. Seam this, the whole thing, all the way down, held nice and tightly, and I'll show you in a minute why we'll do that. All right, and now, when we fold this, the tape is holding our seam really tight and perfect for us. So that way we can put our wood glue, and it's gonna be easy. So essentially, this is the first half of your mantle. Slides right onto those two by sixes once we install them. We need to build the other half, we'll stain it, and then we'll install it in place. I'm opting to stain the mantle rather than paint it because I really want it to stand out from the rest of the white walls. Okay, we're almost there. I'm adding hardware to the storage cubby drawers. It's as easy as measuring a center point, drilling a hole, popping a screw in, and hand screwing the hardware on. I love the look of a classic silver handle. Now we have to attach the mantle to our two by six ledger board on the wall. We're sliding our two sections into place and nailing it in. Adding a faux fireplace worked perfectly for this wall. We chose a modern electric version, no gas line necessary. The finishing touch is adding some simple accessories and bam, we're done. This one took some time, but man, it looks amazing. Am I right? <laughs>